Tia and Scott, a jet engine caught fire here at O'Hare, forcing a United pilot to suddenly abort takeoff. A close call for the 148 passengers and five crew members headed for Seattle. It's the last thing you'd want to see just moments before leaving the runway. Black smoke billowing from one of the plane's engines. Around 2 p.m., a United Airlines Airbus A320 was set for takeoff when a fire broke out. Citizen app video from a passenger on another flight shows fire and medical crews rushing toward it. The plane was towed from the taxiway to its gate where customers got off safely. The terrifying ordeal causing the Federal Aviation Administration to stop arrivals at O'Hare for about 45 minutes. And that created a domino effect on an already busy travel day. We were supposed to be landing right about when it happened. Dan Rogers was flying home to Chicago from Jacksonville, Florida with his family when their pilot made an alarming announcement. And they said they couldn't circle. We'd run out of fuel. When a pilot starts with, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, you know it's not going to be great. Caroline Hugh was on the same flight and says they were diverted to South Bend, stuck on the plane until an all clear was issued at O'Hare. We were there for oh, hours, an hour at least. Waiting was a common theme. We're staying positive. Um, but we'll be home at midnight. O'Hare even racking up some of the worst Memorial Day delays around the globe. Especially on a holiday weekend, I think you just have to plan for delays. And if everything goes great, well, bonus. This Memorial Day weekend, airlines have seen about a 5% increase in travelers compared to last Memorial Day, and the FAA says tomorrow and Wednesday will be even busier than today. Live at O'Hare, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.